Hello everyone, my name is Oksana. It's Road to Edwards, which we Edwards inside there is a 29th who delivers the news about the creation of our project with Edwards. So Dr. San, could you please continue the delicious stories of Edo? Uh, okay, thank you, Oksana. Uh, now this week I would like to uh, start talking about tempura, uh, which is another uh, very famous uh, Japanese dish. And again, this is very high-end today. Uh, and, and in high-end places, there is one cook for one group, and he fries all the food right in front of you. So, uh, yes, uh, this is a, the a material wrapped in a mixture of egg and battered egg and uh, wheat, wheat flour, and then deep fried in sesame oil. And then you eat it with uh, ground, whole, ground radish. So if you think of horseradish that comes with roast beef, then uh, you'll get the idea. You, that with, you do that with a, uh, ordinary radish. And you, uh, you throw that into your sauce, and then you dip the tempura in, and you eat it. And uh, when they fry it right in front of it, it's really, really delicious. Uh, now, but you see, uh, actually, the uh, history of deep fried dishes is very new in East Asia. So uh, Marco Polo brought back the noodle uh, from China to uh, Europe, to Italy. So the most quintess quintessential Italian dishes are actually of Chinese origin. And then deep frying uh, seems to have come from the West to East Asia. Now, uh, uh, one of the most common Chinese dishes we eat is fried chicken. But that was very new, and so is tempura. So it probably came in the 17th century. Uh, the founder of the uh, Tokugawa shogunate, Tokugawa Ieyasu, uh, legend has it that he ate the uh, tempura of fish and uh, was died from food poisoning. Uh, but actually, he ate uh, taino tempura, uh, but a tempura of Thai. What, what is that? Uh, okay. Um, a bass, or I'm not very sure, but a fish, and got a stomach ache. But he died three months later, probably because of cancer. So the legend is wrong, and uh, and also people were eating. For, and and also at the time of Tokugawa Ieyasu, tempura was still ordinary deep fry, uh, no wheat flour uh, used, and uh, and tempura became more common in uh, the seventh in the eighth. 18th century, so as the uh, people of Edo City uh, become richer, and they were all mostly sold in uh, tempura kiosks all over town, as they used uh, well boiling sesame oil. So this could cause fire anywhere. So it was better to have it detached from all the uh, structures, uh, and also this was the sole food of the uh, Edo commoners as when one boiled egg cost in today's uh, currency like uh, $5 a piece, one boiled egg, $5, okay? No refrigeration, uh, no broilers for chickens. A tempura would be like only a dollar. Yes, so it's really something, it's, it was real street food. Okay, even soba cost $4, a bowl. So, uh, and, and then why people, and then people started to use uh, ground uh, radish, daikon oroshi, uh, from the beginning, as for people of Edo, oily food was very new and exotic. And also, uh, they couldn't digest it uh, very well. So they mix with a ground fresh vegetable to make it lighter. So, uh, so putting the uh, daikon oroshi, the ground radish, into the sauce would come only later, as tempura became more common and people got used to it, and uh, and also as they become became higher higher level, well, uh, or more expensive, um, as it turned into evolved into a delicacy. But in the beginning, they would buy like let's say a stick of tempura. Yes, they and they put a bamboo stick into a prawn or a fish or a mushroom, and then they were fried, and then they would put the ground uh, radish on top. Yes. And now, uh, from about uh, late 18th century, uh, early 19th century, uh, at one stage, luxury was suppressed by the uh, shogun's government, but and then the uh, shogun minister, uh, Matsudaira Sadanobu, uh, who uh, who implemented the, this policy, lost power naturally, you suppress luxury, uh, you will be kicked out of power. Just like uh, Gorbachev 
uh, banning vodka, and the Soviet Union collapsed. The same thing happened uh, back in Tokugawa times. But after that, uh, luxury tempura emerged. And, well, what was the difference is that they mixed egg yolk with the wheat flour for battering material. So it looked golden, and it was called kimpura or golden tempura. Okay? And I think that's enough for this week. So uh, I'll talk uh, more about tempura next week. Thank you very much, Oksana. Thank you very much, Dr. Austin. So next, again, could you please continue our session today? Yeah, thank you, Oksana. Um, today, I'd like to update about avatars and gamify. So uh, we currently engaged in creating avatars, uh, which is a kind of a standard avatar in Edoverse based on Edo era. So uh, we are having some advices from Tokugawa-san to follow the real, real people live in Edo era, <clears throat> like uh, wearing kimono and then uh, hairstyle, like, uh, you know, kind of those cultures and uh, some shoes, like, you know, those types of things. And for men could have some kind of hakama only you know, who is entitled to have Hakama. It's supposed to be like general. So in detail, we uh, weekly base discuss uh, in our regular meeting to finalize our avatars. And then, uh, you know, our second team are really keen on uh, refining, refining those designs of avatars, including items. So items is also important for our gamifier because uh, not, not only avatar, we, we can customize this avatar with some items to make it more variable and precious and more looks nice and beautiful. Uh, this is uh, our current update about avatars. And then the other thing is uh, we just announced that uh, uh, we set up some uh, rules and regulations for the first land gaming, which is like uh, if someone can get, you know, 10% of a certain, certain portion, certain areas, then they can be entitled to have some original shop. Uh, certified by Edovas Foundation. And then the first example is uh, Katana Katana Shop. So if let's say there is someone who has more than 10% of the lands, uh, they are entitled to have uh, original official Katana, we call it Kajia. And then if the guy has this Katana Shop, then they can you know uh, combine uh, some Katanas A and some Katanas B to create a new Katana C which is going to be more powerful and, you know, popular and uh, attractive. And then uh, we, we cannot uh, mention something specific yet, but uh, in the future, this katana is going to be also super important parameter for our game fight. Like when we have, uh, when we face some monsters or, you know, a uh, kind of uh, e evil spirits, uh, we have to beat them by this katana. So this katana parameter is also important, which means uh, if you are certified owner of the katana shop, uh, those players who want to improve and then enhance this katana, they have to visit your op office and shops to, uh, you know, uh, integrate their katanas NFT and avatars so that, uh, you know, player can be more stronger and then more easier for them to grow up in advanced space. And then also we are about to provide many types of items which can, uh, let the people and players be more, you know, uh, aggressively participating in our space so that they can be uh, enjoy, en enjoyed with, uh, you know, playing these games. And uh, of course, you, are, you, you, you have a space. If you have some space, you can open your own shop. And then if you are entitled to a kind of, uh, you know, a specific uh, exclusive license to have official, official shops or something, then that's also fine. So we are now ready for anyone to participate in our campaign. So please enjoy that. And then uh, I think uh, some good news is going to be uh, mentioned by other teams. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Ken. It sounds like very funny, you know, that you found some some solution for the NFT uh, land yep. that we can like have fun with. So thank you. Also next, uh, uh, the city of the project, yes, could you please join us? Thank you, Oksana. So I would like to update mainly two points. First, first of all, is the listing of Zeni token. And currently, we are speaking with several centralized exchanges to list Zeni. And one of the uh, one of the 
uh, large ex exchange is willing to this thingy. So we are going to uh, negotiate with the terms and conditions of the listing price as well as um, the requirements. So please stay tuned to our update of the Zeni tokens. We are we are trying to uh, list the list Zeni as soon as possible to make users comfortable. For the second update. Update is the tokenomics around the tokenomics related points. So we are um, we are currently building some marketplace as well as the existing smart contracts. And for the mar uh, marketplace, I would like to uh, this talk with GM as well. <laughs> However, uh, there are the merge is scheduled, so we are planning to launch the marketplace function after the, the merge of Ethereum mainnet, because there's a huge influence. Uh, huge influence is uh, assumed to be occurred. So uh, after analyzing the influence of the merge, uh, we are going to deploy the all smart contracts required for the service launch. So that that's all from me about about today. Thank you, Oksana. Thank you very much, Tias. And uh, uh, next, Mitushi, could you please uh, right. update us on what we, what we have new to this week? Okay. So two things, two agenda that I'd like to cover for this week. First of all, a new domestic market yeah, domestic marketer annually joined the team, and we planned a giveaway project together and. So we increased followers uh, with 300 people, 300 uh, people newly uh, followed our trader with one, just one give up a campaign. So if this is uh, very critical, if we sort of cooperate with, uh, let's say, 30 influencers in Twitter, that means we will be able to increase uh, 10,000 uh, followers uh, as a calculation. So I think we will start approaching influencers in Twitter and try to cooperate with them for uh, carrying out this giveaway campaign. Uh, secondly, uh, the Meta Week blockchain event will be held in wow. Dubai. Uh, several uh, people from Metaverse team will attend the event wow. as a delegation. I think uh, Dominic will uh, talk about uh, NFT mutation as a uh, guest speaker. And I think it's a very important theme, which uh, will uh, gravitate attention from a lot of people because NFT mutation will directly be de relevant to Metaverse project as well. So the combination to NFT will create new uh, NFT and the mechanism of which is critical to maintain the value of NFT. I think uh, the, the theme that Dominic will be talking about in the event will be uh, indirectly or directly relevant to advice projects. So we'll be effectively gain attention from the public in Dubai uh, in the events. I think those two things are very important update from me. Uh, thanks, Oksana. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mitsushi and uh, uh, Dominique. Could you Hi. please uh, join us? Hi, thanks. Thank you, Um, Are you in Paris now? Um, you're just uh, heading just on the on the way to uh, went to Ukraine. So I yes. hope that I think you can just safely just reach to uh, Ukraine very soon. Yeah. Thank anyway. you very much. Um, we uh, already delivered all, uh, all uh, uh, land NFT to the white list uh, up, uh, up, applicants. Uh, and, and also we still just open the gates that you now uh, if uh, you're just the, still the uh, fight wrist um um fight wrist actually you can just still buy the land nfts until the 9th of september and also the the zeni um uh, uh, uh zenis to the older land nfts uh, also i think the people still that uh, uh uh, just very struggling with this to just manage that the Web3 uh, device operation that, that we still open the door uh, until the 9th of September. And then um, um, we are holding the monthly insider on the 9th of September. Uh, we might um, just make some of the presentation of a, of a, a NFT mutation. And that, as Mitsushi just mentioned, that we're going to make some a speech about uh, things in the Dubai uh, Meta Week. Um, 
yeah, that's that might be interesting in terms of the what happened to the NFT, the katana. That I think if you if you have it in the futures, and then um, the same time that on the 9th of September, it's on a monthly inside that and that we actually reporting what we're going to do about uh, 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 global marketing from now because uh, it about should should. Uh, we should just expand it to the all the sort of nations in the in in the world, and then um, we didn't want to just make some the big ecosystem in the futures. And and then this weekend in the Dubai uh, Metro Week will start, and then we're gonna have a booth, and then we're gonna just explain about the uh and then uh, we, we we might just do some of the registration for the SNS and the other things that are to expand uh, uh, at all. Does yeah, that that's going to be very exciting, and and then that's the very good economy now. That the, the super rich people, including the Russian, uh, the rich people in Ukraine, and rich people just you know, coming into the divide that, that we can just uh, talk to them, and then um um about risks and things that you know, Tia's mentioned that, and we actually working very hard, hard and and. And probably we we make some uh, very good announcement, uh, and then uh, we uh, um, uh, um, and then as I just mentioned that uh, the uh, our, our markets um, uh, just market price uh, development is actually now we are waiting for them the March. Uh, this in Ethereum is really big issues as as he mentions. Um, and then uh, in September, we have a lot of events in this case. Um, and then uh, people can just uh, just see that um, uh, what's what we should do fast. Because, and then, uh, we announced the game, game fast, fast. The fast, actually, this is kind of an example of, uh, of the fast step of uh, uh, the game fight in the Edelverse. Of course, uh, this is until the the real 3d image spaces is coming in there and we just uh until just that we start to move just into the uh the metaverse uh, space in future uh we do some of the little game about about our land nfts and then to do some business because this is the game fine game fine means that and uh, you can just make money you can earn the money you can spend the money so and then uh, this is a totally that uh, our life uh, experience and that uh, you can make it. And uh, that's actually an attempt percent run NFT accumulation game is very interesting game that people can just uh, enjoy uh, to pick it up and land. And then uh, having more than a 10 percent, you can get 10 percent of the sales income uh, to Every land owners in that uh, daimyo mansions. Um, that's also, I think, this is a totally uh, the DAO concept that people can share a profit too. So um, many things happening in the Edelbus, um, and then please enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dominique. I'm also here in Paris uh, finding new friends who are very interested in Edovers <laughs> as well. So, and uh, I wish you good luck uh, in Dubai. And everyone, thank you for listening. So, I will meet you next week. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>